18 PL 175, I hereby state that adequate notice of a regular meeting has been provided to the public by written notice dated May 12, 2016. Sorry. The meeting notice has been posted on bulletin boards located inside the school building and in the board office, communicated to at least one of the board designated newspapers, and filed by the board clerk of Palisades Park. Roll call, please. Marie Alvarez? Here. Walker? Here. Ken Bruno? Here. Howard Donovan? Here. Connie Wang? Here. John Nassick? Here. Anthony Rutenda? Here. Jeffrey Wolf? Here. I don't have anything to say, just bear with me. This is my first time and I'm very nervous. So we have minute approvals for the March 16th and March 31st meeting. Do I hear a motion? I make a motion. I'll second. Any discussion? Okay. Did you want to discuss that one resolution or what? Um, we can. Oh, right. I don't think that those are the minutes that we're approving, though. Isn't that the not April 20th? We're not approving the 20th. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're not approving the 20th. Okay. We are done on the 16th. I thought you were just going to change what you have on top, Howard Donovan roll call and right. Donovan yeah. 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 So we had discussed that. I think that was the only correction. Right. Roll call. Yes. Maria Alvarez? Yes. Paul Kim? Yes. Ken Bruno? Yes. I was on it? I uh, recuse on that one meeting if I was absent and uh, we'll guess on the other. Anyway? Yes. Oh, that's the uh, um, Yeah, John Madison? Yes. Anthony Vitendo? Uh, I refuse from both. I was in the board member. Yeah. And Jeffrey Wolf? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. um, report of the superintendent? Sure. Um, I have three, I think. Wonderful events that either took place or will be taking place in this community. Um, and I'm first of all very proud to say, because we always acknowledge the kids that go to Princeton, Harvard, Yale, uh, but last week we had a phenomenal young man, a senior who graduated and is attending a school in California by the name of Kevin Lee, come back with a service dog and presented two wonderful opportunities to children in our district. Um, we were at, the East, at Lindbergh School, excuse me with some uh, special needs children, and I know that was very, very well received. And after school, after all testing, and after the park anxiety sort of went away, Kevin and his puppies, we'll call them, were at the high school, and I will tell you it was very, very well received, and just a credit to him as a human being, what he does, and again, not forgetting where he came from. So yeah, he deserves special recognition. <coughs> Second, I know some ladies are here, and there is a resolution that I would recommend that we uh, support tonight. Next Friday, as is done annually, the Korean Parent Group has their Children's Black Festival, which is a huge success every year. Uh, all children are invited. All children take part in what I hope is a beautiful, sunny Friday afternoon. And finally, um, last week I had the opportunity to sit with Rory Tennant, who is a police officer in town, and another alum, another great person who came to me with a suggestion, and it's a torch run, which I fully endorse and then put in forth before the board this evening. Uh, for those of you that do not know, the Torch Run benefits um, a disability. Um, usually it goes to the March of Dimes, and what will happen with this approval this evening, hopefully, is that children from Lindbergh Elementary School, sixth and seventh graders who took part in track, with supervision and approval from their parents, of course, will pick up the torch with the police department from Broad Avenue in Leonia, not only run through the town, and I hope they get a good night's sleep, but they get to bring that to Richfield and pass it to Richfield. This is something that goes on throughout the county. It's something we have not done here in a real long time, but it's an opportunity to grow as a community. It's an opportunity to work together with the law enforcement, 
and I fully would expect that this board approved that tonight. That's all. Memorial Day, thank you. Memorial Day, as always, I've submitted on behalf of the Board of Education, next Monday, we will be walking. I ask that board members that are available, please join us. I know there are groups from the ECC and Sarah Stoloff, the music department. I know Nidia Valle uh, and the Girl Scouts are also walking, so if it is within your power, I will usually be there with both of my boys, and uh, it's a beautiful day to walk through the streets of Palisades Park in what is usually a 30-minute endeavor, but very worthwhile. Thank you. Uh, report of the board attorney. I have one item to discuss in closed session. <coughs> okay. Report of the committee. Finance, Mr. Madison. Before you, you have ten resolutions. I move on a consent agenda. Is your second? Uh, yes. Number uh, eight. At the at the mayor and council meeting that discussed Wait, the. I'm going to do the second. You second. You second. You second. And then you have a discussion. comment. Okay. I can speak now? Yep. Sorry. Okay. Uh, at the mayor and council meeting on Monday that discussed the budget, uh, I would have hoped that there were more people that were there. It was a very important meeting, but the few of us that were there were uh, introduced to a speech that was given by the mayor to discuss things that we can do in this town. He implores all of us to meet with him, to sit down with him, to discuss issues that we know of that are in this town, to find ways that we can actually revolutionize what's going on here. That we can look at more than just one area of a building and look at the district as a whole and try to find ways of getting the money so that we can build this district into something that we can be proud of. This one part of the construction is important but the movement towards making this district better is even more important. So what I'm asking is that we table number eight until the buildings and grounds and the superintendent have had the opportunity to sit down with the mayor and council for us to give him the ideas that we have for the district, whether it be adding new floors, building new science labs, new gyms, a, a new field at the high school, repairing the issues that we have in each of these schools, because we can probably do this in one big hit, in which we maybe we bond out for a certain amount of years, giving minimal problems to the taxpayers, and we can actually take the school from maybe in the one, you know, between 100 to 150, to maybe the 50s areas, as far as the state goes. We have a huge opportunity, with the mayor and council behind us, to get quite a bit of money to change the outlook of this town. So I hope that I've made myself clear in why I believe that we should be able to it until our June 17th meeting, because I think that in the meantime, we can sit down with the mayor and council and figure out a larger scale plan than just pushing this forward. I believe that if we were to just do this one project, in a year we'll be looking at doing something even greater than that, and it'll look like we just put this money someplace that it didn't need to be put. So the request? Excuse me, was, it, was the superintendent and the board members invited to that meeting on Monday? Yes. Yes. Just can we get the motion? You now have a question that you want to table this motion yes. 